what's that cream corner you got going on there? No, cream corner is the Patreon show. Mm-hmm. That crime we corner do about porn. Sure. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> Crime Corner. Crime Corner. So um, in 2016, I didn't really follow this then, but I'm fucking following it now. This lady, this mom, Sherry Papini. You got a picture of Papini? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get pictures of Papini. Oh. Went missing. Zoom in, Bob. Let's see. Um, Let's see her whole face. Well, we've got a lot. Okay. Huh? There's a lot of pictures. Yeah, yeah. We, right. we need to show pictures of kind of like we need to really look deep into her eyes, which we have a lot of. Whoa, why? Meh. All right. There's something there. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Something there. Sure. But anyways, um, she uh, she disappeared. Her husband, cute husband, you know, great life. She's cute, kind of normal, suburban. Um, she went for a run, right? Yeah. And then the husband came home. The kids hadn't been picked up from daycare. He used Find My Phone and found her phone and her ear pods, like, placed on the side where the trail was with a little bit of her hair wrapped around. I was going to say, I thought, I thought you were going to say and they found an ear next to the ear pods. No. Okay. Nicely placed. Sure. Just about two miles from the road. Okay. Or no, I think it was like really close to the road, whatever. Placed there, uh, playing her wedding song on repeat. Shut yeah. up. What was her wedding Ooh. song? Do we know that? Is oh, that them? That'd be a good one to Is find Is that the out. happy couple? That's yeah. happy couple. That's her. Okay. Look into her eyes. Uh-oh. I have better pics of the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot. I don't know what this photo shoot was, but... Um, Their wedding, probably. You think wedding photos? Yeah. Engagement. Maybe. Engagement, yeah, engage- probably. Like yeah. It's a big yeah. eye. That's like the eyes oh, of that guy in Love the is Blind. Song, the wedding song was Michael Bublé's Everything. Oh, God damn it, man. Playing on repeat. So I'm meant to believe that she was running to their wedding song. Sure. On repeat. Yeah, yeah. Please. Bublé for that long? Bublé. Nobody can so run So there was Bublé. like missing posters everywhere. Everyone was looking for her. Um... She'd been missing for three, three weeks, and then magically on Thanksgiving Day uh, 2016, she appeared. Not just appeared, but she... Uh, um, like a spirit? No, police. Okay. Police found a woman walking on the side of the road, chains still on her. She was branded. Her hair was cut. She was, like, dirty. And How long was she gone? Three weeks. Three weeks, Okay. Three weeks. Um, so they brought her in. They had all these like GoFundMe's for her. She had criminal. Um, she had some kind of other money that either she was getting from the government for this being committed against her. GoFundMe's. She made a lot of money. She bought blinds for her house, fixed up her house and stuff like That's that. That's cool. So, I mean, look, if you get she taken. bruises, it- burns. The brand is really an interesting one. She said that it was two Mexican ladies. Okay. Maybe you can find this, Bob. I think she drew a picture. After everything she went through, though, she need, she deserved new blinds. No, no, no. And it's like, yeah. that's, you know, it is what it is. Like, you got everything paid for. You're back. When Make you yourself get... feel better. This was a horrible thing that happened. Sure. Um, two Mexican <laughs> ladies. We have the picture of the Mexican ladies? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Let's Two Mexican up. ladies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's a good Butch. one. And one has... Look at how descriptive those pictures are. Yeah, and it's so descriptive that one of them has a huge hoop, but not on the other ear. Ah. And then they're wearing masks. Yep, yep. Looks like this wasn't even COVID time. So that's a nice little cholo eyeliner there for eyebrows. What do you call that? Yeah, and the other one looks like a dude, but yeah. Could be an old Indian man. Anyways, this is what she described for the two ladies. <laughs> the two ladies that... Um, kidnapped her anyways so since 2016 they've actually been investigating this Mm -hmm. because of messages they were getting on facebook like i know this girl she's like very you know attention hungry whatever it may be whorish yeah and they said finally 
that they had actually found male DNA on her and traced this male DNA Uh back to a guy that she was actually talking to in messages. They found on her phone that she had two guys. Wait, hang on. So when you say DNA, Chaves, okay, I I get questions. All they said was DNA. It was cum. You want to know. It was cum, yeah. 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 Um, It wasn't blood. It was cum. Right. Okay. And so... So she was covered in sperm. (laughs) I don't know. Probably, right? A lot of semen. Okay, continue. So, um, So they found that, and then they traced that guy back to someone that she had been talking to, flirting with, and... Uh, an ex, I guess. So an ex boyfriend, lover, whatever that she had been texting with. And so she actually went staged all of this to meet up with him and just do it and get fucking crazy for three weeks and didn't want to get caught. So she came back. I mean, cut her blonde hair. Yeah. Branded herself. Sure. Sure. Uh, How do they catch her and how do they find the involvement here? Because of text messages or? I just fucking told you. What was it? People listening heard it. So I don't need to tell you again. So they, they, the DNA, they actually found, she she said it was two ladies. They actually found male DNA. No, so I understand that. They traced the male DNA back to a guy that she was actually messaging with. Okay. So here's, here's my confusion on this. So typically to trace DNA somewhere along the way. Another man would have had to, uh, his DNA would be in his system So somewhere. I think he actually, he must have come forward or there uh, okay. was. Now this is making sense. All right. Right. Because in order for them to go to her house and apprehend her in front of her kids yes. and all of this, they would have to have someone that either talked or, so it was, a, there were rumors in the beginning. Okay. And so they started the investigation. Got it. Now this makes more from sense. From there. Because otherwise... Your DNA would have to be in a system somewhere, and then you would have to be charged with something else. So that that person would have in the past. In order to have DNA. DNA on file. Because um, other, otherwise, you have to ask permission for that. Of like, hey, can I come and take your DNA? Why? Well, we found this that girl covering your own sperm, we think. Can you just confirm what that? What an elaborate scheme. I kind of like it. Do to, we have a picture of the brand? To just hook up. With someone for three weeks. I'm going to be honest, though. What a good time. Like, Giorgio, that, w- that would be somebody you'd have a great time with for three weeks. Who? The girl who was branded that we were just talking the about. The girl who was like, oh, look, yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. we're going to meet up. I'm going to be completely gone for three weeks. But then you're going to have to help me kind of emerge yeah. real fucking fucked up. Do we know the like? Do we know what the brand was? So that Bob? I don't get caught by my husband. Was it initials? Was it a picture? I'm trying to find it because those are know. fun. Like whenever I hear about a, a brand like that, yeah, I want something fun. Like the Yellowstone brand is awesome. And so, <laughs> in Yellowstone, the thing that yeah, the thing that kind of caught my eye too is that they thought in the beginning that she was maybe trafficked because she has very young features, and <laughs> maybe she was. Those eyes would haunt you, though. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Imagine. So when you know the real story and then you look into the eyes, you're kind of like, whoa, dude. Yeah, dude. This There's girl a, it's a whole box is of crazy. crazy. That's somebody who's staring at you through, like at a, and during a blowjob just with those big eyes, and you're just like, oh, my God, can you stop okay, doing that? Okay, let's see. Yeah. So it says she was branded. Uh, this sounds obvious, but uh, he just... Uh, she convinced this dude who was banging her, I guess, to brand her with a hot tool. So, so it's think, not even really, yeah. Yeah, I think it was just a, a kind of It was literally burn. just a burn, basically, because they said, like, burns, bruises. They said branded, but... I guess she just wanted to feel like a, a burn, yeah. like a hot cone iron on the stove. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She had zip ties around her wrist and was Put that no hanger longer up on the in stove. the clothes that she'd been jogging in. She was in different clothes. I don't know where she got those, but... Walmart, probably. No, she she had a she had a bag. No, she, she was probably, going she probably to, got some new clothes. Who's a picture of? Who's that? Is guy? that the dude? I think this might be the guy she was banging. Shut no up! No way! No way! Because look, come on, are Bob. Are you kidding me, Bob? No way! So here, I'll go back. I'll read the description. Through Christ, anything is no, possible. Ladies love the beard. <laughs> 
But yeah, I, it's, the, it's not the beard that bothered us. It's the rest of his whole James face. James Reyes, 37, is the ex-boyfriend who hid California, quote-unquote, supermom Sherry Papini for 22 days. This is Whoa. who she was shacked up with. But, now, but then that kind of seems like... I, I need applause, Giorgio. God damn it, dude. Yeah. Wow, wow. We're doing it. Twist. Dan, we will cut your fucking twist. arm off, dude. Good job, Bob. That's a twist because... That is a twist. She could say that Louder. he... Thank you. Thank you. 